What is up, guys? I'm Breezer GV. We are back with some more Naruto Online. And today, we got the events today. We have some new stuff today. And I think we have a new character as well today. So, we're going to try to get right into this. And then into this. We're going to try to get right into this. And I'm going to see if I can explain this new event down here. Or not event, because it's not an event. New power stats gain I guess I don't know what to call it I forgot what you call these it. power system power ups new power up okay we have the chakra training here as you can see it shows you know earth fire lightning wind and all that crap and each position so position one you have to start getting in position one up all right to level up these you know stats you need to buy them from here from you know the third Hokage you spin you can train once train 10 times or train 50 times and this is the prices down here so you can do this system with coupons I don't know if you can get any of these these little things here any events but I know you can get it right there but basically this will tell you where to get these if you need them it takes you right to you know the guy but basically you have to level up these stats each one it gives you more experience the number one gives you five Number two gives you 25 and this one gives you 50 and once you get this level the level of each one to 10 you will start to gain power I don't think you gain any power right now until you get these to level 10 like permanent power but you're basically leveling up your stats here fire attack fire resistance you see that here because they, they I think they added a new stats you have to level up let me see let's go to moderate as you see here, you know, you, you already knew we had like wind resistance, fire resistance, all that stuff. Now we have wind attack, fire attack, water attack, earth attack, lightning attack, and a normal attack. And that's what the stats that you're going to be leveling up in that system is over here. So I'm guessing you'll do a lot more wind damage with that certain characters and fire damage with certain characters. This is, this is my second account. I already have a couple of coupons. Let's buy 10 of these. Let's train 10 times. Master, ooh, I got level 51. I got two level 51s. I'll take it. Confirm. All right, let's level up some some of these stuff for you, so I can show you. So you you just use this scroll thing over here, or you can press it. Since I have two, I can go to level three if I use this, and I can go to level five if I use both. So let's use both because I'm gonna. So let's see if I can max out position one. I think if you get to the maximum, it won't allow you to use it. You, you can't over experience it. So it won't allow you to use it. You have to go to the next position too and put it in there because it won't let you go over the, the limit. So let's level up to level five. As you see, we got it to level five. Now it could go up to level 15 here. As you see, these ones are still only the max level is level five. And once you get to level five, it goes to level 15 for that one. So lightning one we got a level or 50 so this one goes to level six let's use that in there as you see it boosts lightning attack it went for one percent to or it went from 0 0.1 to 0. Point, all right it went from 0 0.1 to 0 0.6 once it start to get to one percent two percent i think is that's when you start to get a stat boost so i don't think i got a stat boost so yeah because you usually see the little stat boost thing at the bottom of the screen and we're just like oh you went you went up a level so let's just level these up. Let's keep just doing a little extra boost. This one goes up to six as well. Training complete. This one's only got one in there. So that's basically what you level up. And in the middle, position one, if you have position one, once you get to it's a level 10 I think level 10 you can transmission I guess transmission to start getting better stats but position ones this it will be a thing that pops up and you can click it and you know go to the next level of transmission and then you start getting stats and stuff like that position one always give you initiative it says initiative right there position two gives you control position three gives you wait I can't even see it Attacking the attacking the ninjutsu, I think. 
it's like off the screen. And defensive resistance is position four. Position four gets the defensive resistance. Position three gets the attack and engine two. This gets control. And position one gets initiative that you can use. But you'll see a little thing pop up once you get to a certain level and you can transmission, transmute, I guess transmission, one of those. Whatever the word I'm trying to say. And basically you just keep leveling up your positions and percentages and stats. So here's it here's it shows where all the rewards you can get out here. Basically just the you know the the the, the experience and stuff in here. But that's basically how you use this system. I'm probably gonna focus on this after I finish doing what my goal was. Is like in my second account, I want to get the three characters I want. After I get the three characters I want, maybe I get two characters I want on my second account, and then I'll um start to focus on stats and stuff. My main account, after I get all the clothing, I'm I'm definitely gonna head in there and spend my coupons in there and start leveling up. All right, then we have the Konoha tree is back. I love this event. Basically, as you level up your tree, you can, you guys already know, you can get some good stuff. This looks like Joni Minato, or not Joni Minato, Edo Tensei Minato is up in here. So you can get him up in here as well. With Susano Sasuke and all that stuff. It goes up to level seven. You get one free do every week and you get a coin and you always get something off the tree. So that's good. You can do a 10 spin, spin your ingots and coupons. This has your server lures level up their tree you can claim this rewards here and then you can use the coins in here to purchase stuff in here I'm gonna go for Kakazu for my second account because I need the Kakazu frags but Kakazu and Edo Tensei is the two characters I want so since Kakazu is cheaper I'm gonna go for Kakazu and try to get Kakazu frags but they have Edo Tensei Haruzen up in here they have Kakashi Susano up in here keys Charm Material Pack and a new character, Conan. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Something period. <laughs> the Conan. I ain't even gonna say it. Well, we got a new Conan in the game. I'm gonna be reading her abilities. So let's start with her mystery. Deal five com combo damage and ignite to the enemy team and knock down the selected unit. When a friendly unit is selected, create a shield and remove all debuffs while prov providing an immunity to debuffs for one round. I don't know how you're supposed to use this. I don't know if you just select the enemy team, use your ability, then you select your 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 ally and you give them a shield, or do you select your ally first and then it selects one? You know, it's, they both said select, so do you do one first and do the other one? I don't know. Our standard attack deals damage, um, yeah, deals damage and four combo to three enemies and has a chance of causing high float to one random unit. So she attacks one random unit. She doesn't attack like the person that's in front of her. That's pretty good sometimes. <clears throat> she chases knockdown, causes repulse, immobiles, and causes 10 hit combo, or creates a 10 hit combo. This ninja has a high chance of evading chases it doesn't say a limit so that means she can get out of chases a lot probably in one round it doesn't say oh this can stop can you know one round it just high chance of any chases so chasing her is going to be almost impossible probably and when while Kona is on the field other Akatsuki ninjas in your team recovers 40 chakra when using a mystery skill <laughs> she's basically a, a Akatsuki Madara She's an Akatsuki Madara. If the Akatsuki used their abilities, gain 40 chakra. This is kind of good too for Edo Tensei Deidara. Because he needs 60 chakra. And using a mystery from Akatsuki that takes what? 20 chakra. Because the second round you get 40 chakra. If you use 20 chakra mystery on someone, you get 40 chakra back. So you have 60 to do Deidara's. So this actually helps. And I can also use Deidara with Madara too. But, so if you don't have Madara and you get able to get Conan, you have another character that allows you to get a lot of Chakra. So, that's the new Conan. I can't wait to see her. Like I always said, can't wait to see her in battle. Can't wait to face her and to see how she is. She just looks like a, a good support for Akatsuki's, for, especially with Chakra. So, I'm definitely probably going to be seeing her a lot when people are using Akatsuki Ninjas. And then you go to the Great Conan tree here where you get 
the amount of points you have, you can claim these rewards in here. What they, what's they have? A purification breakthrough and a purification. Wait, purification breakthrough pill and an essence. That's two good things that I want right there. Two of them. Oops, not this. My bad. Then we have the events here. So we have the um, wishing lantern. You just click it to make sure you start sending it off. Don't forget about this. Sometimes I'll be forgetting and it'll be like almost too late to even get my rewards. But basically, you level up. The higher you get your balloon, the better rewards you can get. You can get some unbound room packs all the way to 20 coupons, some coins, and a charm material pack. But basically, you press this, ask for requests so people can help you get your balloon up higher. You also could click these side balloons two times to um, make your balloon go higher as well. And I don't know when it restocks, but you can do these balloons again later on in the day. It goes all the way down to eight. As you see, my height just went up by a thousand. So don't forget, don't forget to click these smaller balloons. I did not know you could click these smaller balloons for the longest time since I've been playing this game. I found out like two months ago that you could click these things. <laughs> Saw smaller balloons. I just never clicked it. I thought that was just there for you know decoration of the picture. Then we have Treasure of the Sage, another event that I love when I'm feel like spinning or buying ninjas out of here or buying anything out of here. Basically, you do your plot in Elite instances to get keys, and you get up to five keys, and you can refresh to get better discounts on the items that's in here. As you can see at the top, it shows you what is in here. And as you refresh to get a new item and new discounts, you also can claim these, or not claim, but they'll give you these rewards down here as well. As you can see, these are the ninjas that's in here. Pup. Um, 100 Puppets of Sori, Windblade Asuma, Sage Naruto, Sage Jiraiya, Seven Sword, Killer B, Brandon Dwar, Ten Ten. I don't know why this guy's in here, but food do not buy this character. That's a dumb idea. You can get him out the treasure easily. And Aruka, I still need to get three star Aruka. You get Masked Man, Kushina, regular Kushina, Tony Minato, and Tamari Swimsuit is in here. Nice. And you have the swimsuit outfit, our summer, summer night. Is that a new outfit, Summer Night? I don't know, I might have to look at that. And all the other good power items in here as well you can get. Then you have the Cave Keeve um, Explorer Rebate. This is actually taking me pretty a pretty long time to get back to a thousand keys. I thought this was a, I'll be able to get to at least once a month, but it's actually taking me a long time to get back to a thousand. I only have 500, so since the last time I did the video of the Cave Keys, so it's still gonna take me almost another month to get the cave keys i could spend all my stuff to get like a hundred cave keys at the grocery store but i don't want to spend all my stuff i like having a lot of stuff saved up but i am going to buy a little bit more extra cave keys to see if i can get close by the end if not then i just have to wait till this come up i definitely will have it the next time this does come up i said that last week but i didn't i didn't realize how slow i was going for keys but basically you want to get a thousand fifty keys so you can always get this treasure tool essence I suggest always saving up to 1050 don't do it before so you can get this essence tool you want that to, to get um, more initiative for your your um, gold rope for your position one so that's what I suggest you do in here but you also claim rewards down here as you see you claim more keys these keys these keys does not count for this this um, down here so you can even though you get these keys and you use them they do not count for this to level up these to get to the next level you have the summoning rebate I'm probably definitely gonna be doing this again hopefully I'll have enough to get either hopefully it'll give me one more frag of King of, he King of Hell by pulling or it'll give me enough to buy King of Hell so I can finally get my King of Hell so my main account I think has enough to do this event so I can try to get my King of Hell Hopefully I'll have enough. Then we have the time limit to shop. Just basically by using your stamina potions and stamina pots, you can get enough. Um, you can do the plot in East Elite instances to get points so you can get these rewards out of here. As you see, they have A and um, Susano Sasuke, both of that the Kage treasure, <laughs> they're both in, in there. So you wanna try to get them. I'm probably, I don't know, since I am spending in the Kage Treasure now, since I already got my Madara, I might not go for frags for him anymore. 
because I'm trying to go for him. I want to. I was, I was getting frags of him. I had like seven or eight frags of this guy already. But since I'm going to treasure, I might as well st stop going for him and spending my stamina on him. So I might. I might start just getting the summonings. Try to get the summonings out of here, maybe, or should I just go for power? I don't know. I might try to get this, the ten hit combo summonings out of this thing from now on instead of getting the characters out of here. We'll see. But basically, that's what you do. This Eno thing, I don't. I can't even tell you what you're supposed to do. I don't. I don't know. To be honest, we're just gonna skip this one. <coughs> then we have the Mount Mio Boku trial, one of my favorite events. This week is always my favorite because it's the week you get a lot of coupons and a free character or a free books or whatever. But th today's free character, I did a video on him. It's Faguki um, Samehara. Uh, yeah, Samehara Faguki. I did a video of him with the Rock Lee and Faguki um, extra standard attacks. I'll say now he's not a great character. He's an average character. He's in that average spot. He's not... He's not well, like a great character at all. I thought he would be, but nah, he's not. But for a free character, I think that's what he's worth. He's definitely worth a f being a free character. He's, he's he's worth being a free character like this or a monthly ninja. He's not worth a character you should pay for because he's not gonna you're not gonna get really any good benefit out of him. His standard attacks are kind of garbage into except when he starts. A combo the only time his standard attack is good when you start the combo and you get the acupuncture on that person and yeah each standard attack still chakra but if you can get the whole full combo to go off you can get the acupuncture that's the only part that's good his 10 combo chase is not that great it just pokes people you know, like a whole bunch of needles come out it doesn't do that much damage if he kills something he gets the extra standard attack but it's, he doesn't he doesn't do enough damage that often so they have to be like super low for him to do it and every time this unit suffers from an attack, his mystery cooldown goes by one. So that's good. So every time they attack him, his mystery goes down and he can attack more. So having like him in the first slot, Rock Lee in the second slot, without, I don't think I did that thing. I put him in the back, but I probably should have put him in the first slot. Every time he gets attacked, he's his, his standard attack mystery goes up. So he's just an okay character. I, if I had to rate him, he would be like a five or six, five or six character. That's it. Five and a half. Five or five and a half character. I'll go with that. I don't know if I want to give him a six. But then you have the Mount Miyoboku Trail, little pup things. All you have to do is knock them off. If you mess up, just go to the other side. And you can get 20 coupons for three times, so you get 60 coupons a day. Plus, you get 20 coupons from the Wishing Lantern. That's 80 coupons. Plus, you can get, you know, all the coupons from the um, con Convoy. So, this week, you're definitely getting over 100 to 120 coupons a day. So you're by the end of the week you'll be around 700 800 freaking coupons by the end of the week. That's a lot of coupons this week. That's why I love this event. And especially for a free to play player, these events are the best events. This week is always the best week for free to play players. Cuz you get a free ninja or a free book sometimes out of this event. A lot of coupons and it's and it comes with the cave key event. So if you saved up all your cave keys, you get a lot of power and initiative. Then they also have the other key event that's in here that we be getting to. They have awesome ninjas that you get frags of and a lot of seal scrolls out of, which I definitely want. So let me just finish this up first and I'll get to that. Love this freaking freaking week. This is the best. To me, these are always the best best events. Nothing, No other week beats this week. No other event week beats this kind of event week because this is always the best one. Then you have this, you can spend 100, um, if you want you can spend 100 every day, don't spend more than 100, just spend it one time, and whatever here in here is worth 100 coupons, so if you get lucky and get this, it, you're, um, that's pretty good, or you know, Magic Tamas and all that stuff, you're even some characters of a frag, so if you want, you can spend one time in this every day, because this, this always goes back down to 100 coupons. I think this event is leaving because it says the 14th and I think it's the 15th year so I think this is gonna go away and this is what I'm talking about the great plates after you complete all these little missions in here you get up to 20 it allows you to go all the way to 20 and you can spin in here two times 10 two times of 10 and you get whatever is in here and you can get one frag of Kisame which I need for my main or for my second account because I'm trying to get Kisame, Grudge, Kagazu, and Edo Edo Tensei Hruzen, which is all here today, so I'm happy about that. So I can get a couple of frags of characters I want. 
And you can also get the new Domzo. You can get, not get him, but you can get frags of the new Domzo unless you spend a whole bunch and get lucky, but I doubt it. You have to spend a lot of coupons, which I don't recommend spending a lot of coupons to try to get a character out of these two. I spend, I recommend if you're trying to get the character out of here, which is Minato, the fourth Hokage Minato is in here. So if you want the fourth Hokage Minato, I guess you can spend in here. And you can get the, his frags of him. So you get a free character plus all the stuff that's in here. And sometimes you get a lot of seal, seal scrolls out of these vents. So I'm hoping to get at least 10 seal scrolls this week. I don't know. Maybe I don't think I'll get that many. At least five. Five seal scrolls this week. Because I want to get be able to spend in the Great Ninja War Treasure again on my main account. Let's see if I can get a character out of there. And that's basically it. If you, if you don't have Kakashi, uh, Kikakashi yet for the Bond Mysteries of Joni Mento definitely keep doing this event you eventually get them this is how i got them they keep bringing them back so you can't get them so i'm ha happy they did that and that looks like it's going to be it i don't think there's a breakthrough character but i'm gonna check just in case since we got breakthrough characters like i think it was last week right wait which one i'm going to training i forgot where breakthroughs was why is my thing like that there we go it doesn't look like any new breakthrough character, so no new breakthrough character except the old one that was already here. That wasn't that great. That's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you let me know if you get the new character, or if you gonna go for the new Conan, and if you're gonna spend a lot in the new power event. I'm gonna be doing the power event sometimes later on, not today, but not this week. I'm, but eventually, I'm gonna get to that power item and start power power level and that by spending my coupons in it before we go let's try to get to 5,000 subscribers that's our goal if you guys enjoy hit that like button if you did not hit that like button anyway I stream on Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays I said Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the breeze hey.